wonderful angel of light. I need your help tonight to get me through this pain, to make me feel alright. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. My name is Trinity Caris and I'm from Santo Domingo Pueblo. I grew up in a native community my whole life, so I know firsthand that mental health isn't addressed or acknowledged in our everyday life. Instead, it's brushed off and ignored. Bringing light to a topic like this hasn't been easy for native adolescents like myself since I grew up not knowing or being comfortable with expressing my feelings, so it comes hard for me to do so, even today. During the mid-1800s to the early 1900s, boarding schools were used to assimilate the native culture and tradition, starting with the native youth. Trauma was passed down from the experiences of the survivors through storytelling and traditional songs. This was the start of generational trauma. This trauma still continues to affect the youth today. It kind of made us ashamed of who we were. It made us feel bad because of who we were. If you didn't want to do what they wanted to do, they were allowed to hit us. The current generation of Pueblo Indians still remember the stories that were told to them about the forced assimilation that was experienced. And then it came to a time when the BIA uh, or government came around and asked, looking for the kids to take to school. And he was about, I don't know, maybe 10, 12. They would just go around and gather all of them and take them and put them in a wagon and take him to Fort Wingate and from there his back, his wagon was taken to Albuquerque Indian School. And he goes, I didn't know what they were saying. I didn't know English, but it was really a hard time. You still hear stories from families who say, you know, we'll never ever send our students to an Indian school because of the experiences of my grandfather and what they lived through. How would you describe mental health? It's when you're feeling down, like you, like you stress yourself too much, like you're so tired and you don't want to deal with no more and stuff. Mental health is someone that has a problem. I feel that, you know, that's how it, I look at it as mental health, is having someone uh, having a problem, either emotionally, physically. That's how I see it. opportunities in education and at the time being promised of clothing and school supplies that many of the parents couldn't afford. Staff, like I said, they were all Native. They would be there for us and they would say, it's okay, you know, we'll, we're here, we can, we'll teach you how to do stuff. And, or they would tell us, um, you'll be getting, you'll be going home, or your parents will be coming this weekend, or, you know, they always were, so, it was a positive support. Over the years, the ways of coping with experienced trauma and generational trauma has changed. Today, many Native youth practice their traditional dances as a way for them to stay connected to their culture and relieve some stress compared to back then when they didn't have a form of coping since they were not allowed to practice their traditional activities. 
Today, many youth not only practice their traditional activities as a way to cope, but they also find other activities such as playing sports, watching movies, or hanging out with friends to relieve some stress. I can relate to you um, with my mental health. I suffer from depression and I use it. I use movies as a coping skill to me. Um, helps me take things off my mind. I don't stress. I try not to stress as much. Helps relax me, helps put the mind at ease. Film feels real and makes you feel like you're normal and that you're not the only one that's like the way you are. During the movie, I can just focus on the story and the images. I don't really have to think about anything else. And it lets me ex escape into that world that the movie is showing. My favorite clips from movies, they make me feel good. And for the movies I watched as a kid, there's a sense of nostalgia and comfort in them. I plan to introduce another way of coping with stress and mental health through movies. As a part of a study I conducted, I found that watching a movie is very calming and helps you think about other things that aren't making you feel stressed. So, how was the first day of school? It was fine, I guess. I don't know. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Did you guys pick up on that? Sure mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong. We're gonna find out what's happening, but we'll need support. Signal the husband. <clears throat> With a nice pass over the reach, comes across center ice. <clears throat> uh oh, she's looking at us. Seeing Native Americans on TV shows like Reservation Dogs helps me cope because it helps me see myself in everyday life by being able to see how other Native Americans deal with the everyday situations that we go through. It helps me cope with my own mental health rather than seeing the people who aren't Native doing the same things that I do. I watch movies, I play my PlayStation, or I take a good nap. Movies do help a lot, if especially if you're a quiet one, um, if you're not really outspoken, you can, that's a way you could tell somebody that's like a different formatic way of um, showing somebody how you feel. Because there's multiple movies, you could say that if you're feeling depressed, you will be watching a sad movie. I think sometimes it's easy as a person to forget that you're not alone. And it really encouraged me to find different stress relievers other than watching films like listening to music and dancing and doing art, like drawing and painting. During the pandemic, my way of coping was watching movies and spending time with my family. I turned to movies as a way of coping because the struggles that the characters faced made me feel that I wasn't the only one going through a hard time. It made me feel normal. Making a film about mental health is important to me because I get to tell my story about mental health through the pandemic and the coping ways that work for me. I chose this topic to educate my younger nieces and nephews on what mental health is so that in the future they know how to cope with it and are open to talk about it with anyone they trust. I want them to know that films are more than just entertainment. Movies helped me all through the pandemic but still continue to help me with the stress I face today. I truly believe that I will continue to use film as a daily coping mechanism and I suggest that you do too.
I would like to thank my mentor and all who encouraged me while making this film. Thank you. Look at the way she flies.